Hello, this is Orville Chomer, and you are watching episode 9 of the Orville Chomer Show. Okay, the Kenokiped investigation continues, and um, I'll tell you where I'm at. Um, you might remember if you've looked at episode 8, all um, six parts um, that basically the first night I put it on uh, my foot and took it off in the morning it was barely dirty it could have been just dirt from my pores um, <clears throat> the next night I had a really rough time I got on the treadmill uh, I had to put a sock on my foot over it because I need to put my shoes on to be on the treadmill and I burned a bunch of calories on the treadmill um, to try to get tired out and be able to go back to sleep. And if you want more information, go back to um, episode eight. Um, that leaves what's happened after that. Now I've gotten a little sloppy. My health hasn't been that great since that all happened. So it's been kind of hard to be um, as detailed, but I've used it three times since then, the Kenoki pad, three different Kenoki pads, and um, I didn't film any of those, but I'll just tell you what, what happened. And it's very interesting what happened, and I am going to film what is, the next thing I'm going to do is. Uh, and you're going to see what, what happens. Um, the first time, after those two nights, the first time of the three, I put it on my foot with a sock. Alright, I figured I needed to sweat. I needed to have some moisture in there. So I, I put it on. And I guess I didn't sweat very much or something because when I took it off in the morning, it was like day one. And I don't think all the toxins or whatever out of my body. It was just little dirt on, little places on it, and that's it. So, I did it again, same exact way, day two. Same result, barely anything on the pad. Then I decided to be a, but there was a little, on both, on all, all cases where, except for day two, where there was all it, sticky goo when I, after I in the morning when I woke up and found it you know um, all those other times there was a little bit of dirt kind of on the edges and stuff and in, in cracks well I thought I'd, I'd help it along because I figured because I don't sweat a lot so maybe um, maybe I just didn't get enough moisture there to have whatever needs to happen happen. So I thought I'd help it along. So what I did is I wetted the bottom of my foot with water, all right, and I put the pad on. Now you would think it would have been dirtier, maybe a gooky mess in the morning, but actually the amazing thing is it was completely the opposite. There wasn't even little dirt marks like there were on days one and four and five. Um, it was almost like I had never put the pad on. It looked pristine. It looked clean. So, um, sweat is where it's at, okay? And I've got a few theories and, and things to look at to see whether it works or not. Remember the experiment and somebody posted out on YouTube going, gee I'd like to see the um, putting water on the Kenoki pad and just water letting it sit overnight and see what happens to it. Well we're going to do that in this episode. I'm going to put, I'm going to have actually um, in one spot the Kenoki pad and next to it I'm going to have some cotton and I'm going to put water on both so you can see side by side and we're going to see what happens um, see if anything happens right away 
uh, and also see what it looks like in the morning. Um, right now it's about 10.24 p.m. here in Chicago, so uh, Friday night. And um, we're going to do that, but we're doing two things, two tracks. Um, that's the first thing I'm going to do to get it going, that experiment. Um, the second thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure I'm good and sweaty. So um, I'm going to be on the treadmill a while. You'll see a little bit. I'm not going to show you the whole thing of that. I don't want to bore you too much. Um, and I'm going to get myself nice, hot, and sweaty, and I need the exercise anyway, right? Who doesn't? And I'm going to then, well, I'm going to put the Kenoki pad on first. I'll document that. And then we will see. I want to do two things. I want to see if in a short period of time, if it gets really gooky and messy like that right away. Okay. And that is an interesting thing to me. And then, of course, in the morning, I want to record um, what the results are, whether it's gooky or dirty, whether there's nothing there, whether whatever. Um, so, now here's the thought process. If the sweat thing, if actual sweat as opposed to just plain water causes that reaction, um, there's a couple possibilities that I can think of. There may be more. One possibility is that it's working okay um, that it's actually drawing toxins out of my body the other possibility is that um, whatever's in my sweat is just reacting with um, the stuff inside the pad so it leaches out where plain water by itself does not um, so but I figured out I figured out if if okay there's two ifs. If two things happen uh, in the morning, number one, number one, if the Kenoki pad that I put purified water on and didn't put on my foot remains unsullied, no darkness, and number two, the patch on my foot is dark and sticky and icky, um, then I can go on to the next thing, and that is putting a pad on my foot every night after I get myself sweaty or before I get myself sweaty. Again, I don't sweat very much, but I'm, I can make my, my foot sweaty. You know, a lot of people have sweatier feet than me. If, as I do that, it gets lighter and lighter every night, then chances are it actually is doing what it's supposed to. If, on the other hand, it's just the same every night, then chances are though it's kind of hard to prove in just a short amount of time the number of pads I have that um, oh there you go I think you get the idea so that's the thought process behind these tests 